Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we'll be talking about how you can install Yokogawa's engineering software, in particular Resource Configurator and Logic Designer. So when you buy Stardom, Yokogawa Stardom product, you'll receive two CDs. Uh, one of them will be called Yokogawa Software, FCN, FCJ. Another one will be called APPF, which stands for Application Portfolio. So in the FCN FTJ CD, you'll have Logic Designer, which is the programming platform for all Yokogawa Stardom products, and Resource Configurator, which allows you to configure all the Stardom modules and do loop checks and such. I'll leave a link on how you can actually do a loop check on this video here on the top right hand corner. And moving over to the APPF, APPF is actually a set of libraries, or rather, in short, a turnkey solution that you can install and just drop the function block or, and then you'll start using it. An example will be like a flow, gas flow calculation. You just drop the function block and uh, you have them, right? And also Modbus drivers can all be found here. Let's get started. So first of all, you have to install the FCN FCJ. Once you install the media, run the setup file. And this is what the menu looks like when you first look into it. So over here, they have this install first. So what is this one does is that if you have Microsoft Windows 7 or Microsoft Windows Server 2008 R2, they will install Microsoft Root Certificate. But if you have Microsoft Windows 7, sorry, but if you have Microsoft Windows 10, you will install, this will install Microsoft Security Update Patches. Well, it's basically knowledge base 3200970 if you're interested. So I've already installed this. Um, I will not do any installation because I do have all my computer set up uh, to do logic designer and resource configurator. But nevertheless, if you're installing this for the first time, please install this. It will help you along the way. Once you install the Microsoft patches, the next thing you want to do is click on products. And this is where you can actually install your logic designer and resource configurator. My recommendation is to install logic designer first followed by POU libraries. And once that is done, you install Resource Configurator. Keep in mind that Logic Designer, you'll require a license key from Yokogawa. POU libraries, I'm sorry here, click it back again. POU libraries, you don't really need it. Uh, and Resource Configurator, you don't really need license. Um, I also like to touch base on a few other softwares that's available here. These are not mandatory, but you can install it if you need it, like simulators, OPC servers for Windows, and also doulets and network configuration and security tools. So once you install Logic Designer, POUs, and Resource Configurator in that order, you, your configuration tools are set and ready to go. So once you do that, click Exit to exit the FCN FCJ Stardom software installation tool. So once that is done, put in your next CD, the second CD called Application Portfolio or APPF. And this is what the menu looks like once you install it, once you put the CD in, I'm sorry. You don't really have to do this if you already installed on the previous FCN FCJ CD, but if you haven't done it, this is a second opportunity for you to do it. So the next thing you have to install in this CD is if you click on Logic Designer Libraries here, you have to install General Purpose A, this library here. This will al allow a couple of uh, POUs and pass blocks. Uh, if you don't install this, this, this is the kind of error you'll get. Um, this program here uses Modbus communication protocol, but when you try to compile it, it will tell you data type declaration of function block code body missing. If you look at the data further, it looks like it's a Modbus driver not being installed, but that's not true. I've already installed a Modbus driver on this uh, computer, and still I do get this problem. Again, in order to re re remediate this guy here, you, you will have to install General Purpose A, which will actually get rid of all that. So uh, this is the only one that's mandatory that you have to install. Apart from that, the rest of them are all option. So like for example, if you're gonna use a Modbus communication protocol, please install this. This covers Modbus TCP and Modbus RTU. If you're using DNP3, you have to install this. 
And I did mention gas flow calculation, liquid flow calculation. Click here, gas flow calculation, liquid flow calculation, they're all here. Sorry, it's just going in and out. Anyway, so there's no order of how, which way you have to install. Uh, you just have to select whichever uh, turnkey solution that you want or portfolio, they call, like to call it in the Yoga world, and just install them accordingly. One key takeaway is that gas flow calculation and liquid flow calculation, you do need license. That license resides on the stardom itself. So when you install this software, you don't really need license, but in order to run this on the stardom, you need to buy the license from Yokogawa. So once uh, that is all done, click exit, and you will exit the APPF installation installer. So um, there's a lot of debate about whether you have to restart the computer after installing all that stuff, and even the installer will prompt you to restart it. I have been very successful without uh, restarting. I'm still able to use my logic designer and resource configurator, but you know it's always a good practice to restart your computer whenever you install any new Windows application. Anyway, uh, I hope uh, this tutorial will help you. Have a good day. Bye.